Triumph had plenty of competition from brands like BSA, Ariel and Norton. But to get an edge, in 1907, Bettman opened a huge new factory at Priory Street in Coventry, which was capable of producing a thousand bikes a year. By 1908, they were building motorcycles with Triumph engines, and at the National Motorcycle Museum in Birmingham, they've got one. And this is it. The 1908 Triumph had a sprung leather seat, a gas-powered headlight, and a 300cc engine that was capable of getting the bike up to a top speed of 45 miles an hour, three times the speed of a horse and carriage. To get the engine going, you had to pedal hard and hope for the best. For obvious reasons, I've got to stick to the car park, but bearing in mind that this is over a century old, it's fantastic that it runs. In 1905, there were 21,121 registered motorbikes in the whole of the UK. So bikes were still an exclusive club, but the market was growing every year, no matter how crude the machines. <laughs> That's crazy. Now look, right, you've got to understand, this motorcycle didn't have a clutch yet, so all you've got really is a valve lifter. Mm -hmm. and throttles just here, like that, and you've got a pedal to obviously engage. There is a neutral here, just a little, there we go, like that, uh, to release it. So then, if you're in trouble, you can go into neutral, pull the valve lifter up, and hit the front or rear brake. Now, these motorcycles just plodded along. They were three and a half brake horsepower, and back in the day, they'd cost you 45 quid. Triumph built, well, about 250 of them, but I tell you what, still to this day, they're such fun. <laughs>